people often look at the big picture of everything while tending to miss out on the most beautiful little details that the big picture has. Like the fish in an aquarium, most of the time, our eyes are only set on the big fish but seldom on the tiny fish that contribute to the beautiful presentation of a tank. So in today's video, we'll spotlight miniature fish keeping featuring the top 10 nano fish for your freshwater aquarium. Welcome back to Aquarium Store Depot. If you're new to our channel, subscribe and turn on the bell notification for your daily updates on aquarium-related topics. Now to start with the number one spot on our list. Welcome the betta fish into your life. Known for their unfailing popularity in the world of fish tanks, betta fish, or betta splendens, make great pets. This small freshwater fish requires at least 5 gallons of water in the tank. Male bettas also have special consideration for tank mates since they are territorial and will fight with other males. But despite their pleasing physical appearance, this Siamese fighting fish is not easy to take care of, contrary to what most people think. So it's better to research how to take better care of them. You can also check out our YouTube video about betta fish laying on the bottom of the tank to gain more insight before choosing this fish as your pet. The Amber Tetra is your second bright amber in the tank. Also referred to as the Dwarf Red Tetra, these fish manifest their beauty through the radiant orange color of their skin, especially when they have plenty of plants in the background. But their beautiful appearance is not the only thing they have because their nature of being active yet peaceful tank mates makes them admirable to watch while swimming around. Next in our list is the Longfish White Cloud Minnow. Originating in Asia, China, and Vietnam, these fish do best in cooler water than your typical tropical aquarium fish can. Their skin color, which consists of reddish fins and shiny white stripes built horizontally into their bodies, made them a more attractive version of a classic aquarium species. But folks, the long fin white cloud minnow is best enjoyed if you keep a group of 10 in your tank. Well, now you know. Going on to our next spot, meet Spotted Raspara. Yes, Boraras maculatus was called Spotted Raspara because of the spots on its body. This nanofish is a slim little schooling fish that is very shy. So folks, as much as possible, you must keep them only with very calm and peaceful fish, or even better, in large groups with invertebrates. If you're a fan of Bumblebee from the Transformers, you will also love to add a Bumblebee Platy to your tank. It's called a Bumblebee, not because it looks like a car, but because of its boldly contrasting black and yellow markings that resemble the color of a Bumblebee insect. If you're a beginner, this fish is excellent for you. You have to note that keeping more females than males is generally advised. And since they are live bearers, you can expect plenty of fry if your fish are happy and healthy. If you can't have the galaxy, Celestial Pearl Daniel is the key. Celestial Pearl Daniel will give you access to the galaxy inside your tank through their mesmerizing body markings comparable with the shiny space objects in the universe. Awesome, right? The male fish have bolder markings than the female, but both sexes are perfect species for heavily planted nano tanks. Do you see black as elegant? If so, this next fish is for you. Meet the Black Neon Tetra. Originating from South America, specifically Brazil, this fish was considered a hardy freshwater spearfish, slightly different from the more popular neons and cardinals. But although they are regarded as nanofish, they are a little larger than some other tetras. So it's best to keep them in tank sizes of about 20 gallons or more because they can grow up to 1.5 inches. Eighth on our nanofish list is the clown killifish. If you're feeling lonely, looking at this fish will make you happy. Because of their tannish yellow stripes and brownish vertical color, insects might get blinded by the beauty of this little predator. Little did they know that it likes to look for tiny insects on the water's surface. To provide clown killifish with quality care, your tank must have calm water conditions and killifish should be fed small animal foods like baby brine shrimp. Dwarf Honey Red Gourami is also worth keeping in your nano fish tank. As you can see, 
This fish's color is almost similar to that of a goldfish. Dwarf honey red goramis are excellent freshwater fish that suit well in a community tank if they are kept with other small, peaceful species. Apart from that, they are considered labyrinth fish that breathe air from the water surface and they are bubble nesters. And last but not least is the autosynclus catfish. If the best algae eater fish is one of your criteria for a nano species, autosynclus catfish is the one you need. This fish often spends a lot of time grazing on algae on the walls of the aquarium and other surfaces like driftwood and leaves. But it's also good to note that their vegetarian diet means they can be kept safely with even the most petite shrimp. If you want to see this fish enjoy their swimming session, you must put at least 6 of them in your tank. Now folks, although this list contains only a few of the entirety of the various nano fish that are available to add to your small tank, here are the other nano fish you can consider buying in the aquarium store. Neon Tetra, the little social fish that are the most popular freshwater fish for nano tanks. Harlequin Raspera, a neat little schooling fish that prefers to be in groups. Pygmy Corridoras, the tremendous little nano catfish that spend time at the bottom of the nano tank. Cherry Barb, that needs a tank of about 20 gallons or more to be in their happiest. Gold colored white cloud minnows that should be kept in cool water tanks and often do best without heating. Chili Raspera, which grows to less than an inch in length and is best placed in a soft water tank. Red pencil fish that suits a community aquarium with plenty of live plants and hardscapes. Siamese algae eater that eats algae to keep your aquarium looking great. Glow light danio which needs many plants and a dark substrate tank to bring out its colors. And lastly, the panda kori, a peaceful yet active little bottom feeder that should be kept in groups. Nanofish might appear little in our eyes, but they indeed have a considerable role in maintaining your tank healthy for the other species. However, it's a common misconception about nanotanks and nanofish that they are easier to maintain than larger aquariums. The truth is, they need hands-on assistance from you. If you have no idea how to start, you can check out our website at aquariumstoredepot.com to learn how to set up your tank for nanofish. Does the world of nano aquariums sound interesting to you? If so, try including them on the list of your next fish to take care of. You can also share the nanofish that caught your attention and engage with the other fish keepers in the comments below. Watch our other videos about fish and aquariums posted on your screen. See you in our next video, folks!